something came up in my meditation this week, which is really interesting. And maybe it'll be useful. Um, it was enjoy everything, need nothing. Oh, it's rather ubiquitous and not helpful. How do we know what's right to enjoy? So I'll turn that question to you. That's a damn good question. When does something feel right to you? Well, there's definitely a feeling attached, but if I had to put it into words, the logical answer would be something that is done with good intention and that is healthy and safe for yourself and for others. All right. That's like the boring. And I realized that because my guides are like, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fuck that. Okay. Close your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're just like, yeah. we didn't say that. I'm like, I know. I said, as a human, that's how you, you, you right. put it into the words as a human. So, okay. So they would like me to try to describe this feeling. I'm not as eloquent as my co-host, Chris. But we're going to give it a try. We're, this is the least effective form of communication, particularly when it comes to feelings oh, and yeah. language. So let's just feel it. Is. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to feel it now. This is not an easy task for people who are listening. Hey, maybe you guys can feel it too. Do you, um, I, I, I don't want to project, but I'll project anyway when when you help someone right and when someone work through something or a breakthrough or you provide some insights or some intelligence that feels right does it, make, it feels right it does feel right so when you close your eyes mm -hmm. thank you and imagine like the highest reference point you can think of or imagine or recall where you felt just completely on purpose. It's like, wow, I can't believe I did that. Oh, yeah. It, as far as like helping people all the damn time. What does it feel like? Well, there's two feelings that are coming up for me right now. And the first one is about that particular situation is that I proved myself wrong. Mm. I proved my self-doubt wrong because there's a lot of self-doubt, right? Don't mm -hmm. we all have that in some capacity? But I'm struggling with mine. I want to master it, right? <laughs> I want to master everything, which is, uh, again, part of the problem because this sense of mastery and perfection leads to eating disorders. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it's a big old circle. Yep. But That's you fine. left your body when you started to answer. So let's close your eyes again. Yeah. You, you went straight to the head. I did. Starting to feel shit now, Christina. Okay. Let's go back to that feeling. Where in your body do you feel it? That resonance. Uh, stomach. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like root chakra or your gut? Oh, like uh, solar plexus. Good. And is it tingling? Is it cold? Did it clench? What? You know, I feel a lot through my stomach. And when I get nervous, I, like even as a kid, I, I used to shit my pants <laughs> as a, like a really small kid. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, it's still when I get nervous, it's like, I go to the bathroom or, you know, it's just to carry a lot of that in there. And so, yeah, my stomach feels very calm uh -huh. and very... Um, uh, my stomach feels proud. I know that's yeah. weird. Can the stomach feel proud? Well, mine does. Yeah. Hmm. And could you tap into your that feeling just about any moment you would want to? Oh, yeah. I know where you're going with this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Clever. <laughs> yes. Let me let me capture that for a moment for myself. Just sit with it. 
feels like an odd sense of calm. And I'm boxing it up. And filing it away into my heart. Mm. It's where I keep a lot of stuff. Mm. I just visualize my heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do that.